Cactus Caffeine. If you are new here, my name is Anna. And in this channel, I share with you my passion of growing cactus and other succulents over a cup of hot and strong coffee. I am very excited today, guys, because I will be doing an unboxing video. So I ordered some cactus online. But before that, I just want to share with you two of my cactus that are in bloom today this is a set this is a steno cactus multicostatus this is would you believe this is a mammillaria <laughs> yes this is probably one of the mammillarias with the biggest flower this is a mammillar mammillaria senilis or a mammillopsis senilis is what they call it so hopefully the other bud will open by tomorrow and um, I'm hoping this would still be open so I, I'll have two flowers opened so that's your flower treat of the day <laughs> spring is definitely on its way guys so going back I am very excited because I ordered cactus online so guys February is my birthday month and I thought I'd buy myself a present and treat myself to some new cactus. So I wanted to, I waited until we got back from our short vacation before I ordered this because I did not want the box to, you know, be sitting in our front porch or in our mailbox for days. So I had to wait till we get home and then I order this and it, it, it's quick guys so it came in like after I think three days after I ordered it it's here so let's see I ordered this cacti from um, planet desert so their website is planet planetdesert.com oh, this box is heavy yeah so I well, I do not make a lot of online purchases. Um, when I do, it is usually from Planet Desert, guys. So, I have been their customer for years. You should check their website because they have a very good selection of cactus, succulents, and other desert plants. So, when you receive your order, you will receive this uh, care instructions for your plant all right let's get this started so unlike most online sellers this one ships their plants in pots that's why this box is heavy <laughs> some people prefer it bare root but i like it shipped in pots too because um, it lessens the stress on the plants and less damage on the roots so anyway i do repot these guys in my own soil and in my favorite terracotta pots so sometimes i forget to repot them and i leave them um in their pots and uh, they still they're still perfectly fine they're growing and uh, they flower <laughs> they flowered from the past even though i left them in in, in their pot So it is very well packaged. Let's get this one out. First one. There's the name. Okay, so I ordered this particular Mammillaria, guys, because this Mammillaria, like the Senilis that I showed you earlier, has a very big flower for a Mammillaria. And I like that. I like uh, big, bigger flowers on Mammillaria. It's a little bit hard to take out because of the hook spines. It is hooking the plastic and I don't want to damage the cactus. So I'm trying to be very careful. Okay. So this Mammillaria has uh, pink 
big pink flowers. Okay, and then next one, let's see. So I ordered six different kinds of cactus. Okay, the next one is, oh, this is a Lobivia. I like the way they package it because even though it is in it, ha, it is in pot with soil and top dressing look at the box it's clean nothing spilled so it's very well packaged okay so this one is lobivia aculiata <laughs> I don't know how to say it but this one according to this description this one is a little bit frost hardy and can tolerate below freezing temperatures so for a short period of time of course so that is a plus factor for this cactus and this one is expected to have I think uh, magenta flowers all right number three Maybe I should move this box to give you guys better view. Okay, so cactus number three. So all these that I ordered guys are cactus. So one of the main reasons that got me into the cactus hobby is because of the flowers that they produce. The flowers are... Oh wow, look at this one. It has a flower. Speaking of flowers, this one has a flower. So as I was saying, the flowers that the cactus produce are very impressive. So that's one of the reasons that got me into um, cactus. So the ones that I ordered, that I ordered in this purchase, these are all flowering cactus or the ones that produce very pretty flowers. So when I went online, that was the that was my first and main consideration is that they should have a beautiful flower. So all these, um, I'm hoping, will give me a super bloom very soon. Wow! Look at that! I like it. So at least you know, guys, that it is already a flowering size that they sent me because see, and this is a. Sulco Rebusha. Mus. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Yeah, but Sulco Rebusha. So I do not have a Rebusha, Rebutia, however you wanna say it, that has yellow flowers. That's why I got this one. So this is a Sulco Rebusha. I'm not sure what the difference is between a Sulco Rebusha and a plain Rebusha. So if anybody of you know, guys, Please comment down below. So, but I like Rebusha because they flower abundantly. And look at all those buds around it. Some of them are already spent. So, it, this one has been blooming for weeks now. You can tell. But there's more buds on the way. Nice. Another one. Cactus number four. Oh, this one is another Sulco Rebusha. Okay. I love Rebusha, guys. Whenever they flowers, they flower, I mean, they produce a lot and they produce big flowers. Uh, big compared to the body of the cactus itself and sometimes they even completely hide the cactus so it's like you have you have a bouquet of flowers in a pot okay next is another Soko Rebusha so I believe this one has um, pink or magenta red flowers yeah I like this one because uh, based on the pictures its flowers has a white has white petals you know um, 
For a rebusia, this has a wide red magenta flowers. Nice. Okay. Okay, I have a cute little one here. Oh, this is the pig Pygmaeus cereus. Oh, this is a type of cactus that I do not have yet in my collection. So this will be the first one. That is the name. Okay. So this one, this one guys, um, I ordered it because it is very unique. So it is a fascinating cactus. It has very short, thick spines. So this is very, very slow growing guys. So as you can see, it is small because it is very slow growing, but I bet there's age already to this cactus despite being small. And oftentimes it is actually grafted by many collectors to speed up the growth but its flower is very striking so it has big white flowers that grows from a long stem kind of like an echinopsis but a little smaller than an echinopsis so that's why i got this cactus so i think patience patience is the key to this cactus but this will be a unique one for my collection so this is the last one. This one is oh an Echinocereus. Look at that guys, if you order in your order you get free pots, free soil, and it, it's got top dressing. <laughs> it's ready to ready to go. Just put this with your collection and it's ready to go if you're fine with this pot and their soil and their top dressing no need to do anything else so this is an echinocereus so this one um, has um, the color of the flower while in their website it was pink but it also says the flower color can vary it can be pink purple red or rarely even white so it will be interesting to find out what color of flower i got so this cactus said um, has been said to have a big tap root so generally for cactus with a big tap root you would want to be stingy on watering because they have a lot of stored water in their roots so I will see when I repot this. If it does have a big tap root, then I will probably pot it up in a deeper, deeper pot. So these are all the cactus that I gifted myself for my birthday. So I'll just show each one of them closer for you. So I inspected every one of them and they all look very healthy. I do not see any bugs in them. And uh, like I said, I do repot my cactus guys. So I prefer terracotta pots. So I will be transferring all of them to terracotta pots soon. And then I will be using my own soil. But look at that. I already got free top dressing <laughs> so yeah so these are my new purchases the new additions to my collection i am so excited because i know all of these have has the, all of them have the capability to produce abundant flowers and i just can't wait all right if you like my video guys please do give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet and i'll see you in my next video so until my next video guys bye